In this video, you'll learn how to requeen a honeybee hive. Requeening a hive is something that every beekeeper is going to have to do eventually. In fact, a lot of beekeepers often requeen every two to three years just to maintain the health of their hives. In this video, we're going to discuss a few of the different reasons why you might want to requeen, and then we're going to go over just how to do it. The most important reason to requeen a colony would be if your current colony is queenless. You can decide if your colony is queenless by opening up and inspecting for sign of the queen. If you find the queen herself, Eggs or young larvae, these would all be signs that the queen is present in the colony. If you were lacking those three things, this would be when you would introduce a new queen. Another reason you might want to requeen a colony is if you're creating splits and one of your colonies that you're creating, you want to add the extra queen in rather than let them queen themselves. An additional reason you may want to add a new queen to your colony is if you have a colony that currently has a queen in it, but she's not performing super well. So an example of this may be if you have a hot colony, meaning you have a queen that is laying really aggressive workers and you want to introduce a new queen that has more docile genetics. Requeening has other benefits as well, such as interrupting the reproductive cycle of varroa mite. When you requeen a colony, this creates a brood break, and inside the brood is actually where the varroa mite reproduces. Ooh, a deformed wing virus. We got deformed wing virus. Look at that bee right there. The varroa mite is nasty because the varroa mite can spread viruses between bees. One of the most common viruses spread by the varroa mite is deformed wing virus, where bees emerge, brand new bees, and their wings are deformed, and they can never actually contribute to the colony, they're sickly. So that's a bee that's been fed on by mites and gotten that virus. So now that you've decided to requeen, um, you're going to need a queen to put in your colony. Many beekeepers decide to rear their own queens, but most beekeepers purchase queens from different beekeeping suppliers. Queens will often come in a cage, uh, like this one. Uh, it's got a screen in it so that workers can feed the queen through the screen, and it's plugged up with what we call a candy plug. Uh, over the course of time, after you place the queen in the hive, she will eat on one end of the plug and the workers will eat on the other, uh, and eventually they'll meet in the middle. And at that point, the workers will be used to her smell and her pheromones, and they're more likely to accept her into their colony. Before you place a new queen in a hive, uh, if you are replacing an old queen, you're going to want to remove the old queen. When placing a, a cage inside the hive, you'll want to choose a frame that's clear of any, any brood, uh, perhaps that has empty comb on it, then you're going to want to take the cage and press it into the comb with the screen facing down. You want to make sure that you don't press the screen directly into the comb because then the workers won't be able to feed the queen. Then you can place the comb inside the hive and walk away. Another option would be allowing the hive to requeen itself. Maybe you don't want to take the time to purchase a new queen or spend the money. And as long as there are eggs in the comb, there are eggs in the hive, workers will recognize that their hive is queenless and they will rear one of those eggs into a new queen. But it's important to note that that process can take three to four weeks. Regardless of how you decide to requeen, you're going to want to keep an eye on the hive, coming back a week later, two weeks later, to make sure that the hive is either requeening itself or accepting its new queen. There can be several occasions in which it's not appropriate to requeen a colony. One of these may be if you have worker laying eggs in a colony. If your colony has been queenless for too long, the workers will upregulate their ovaries and begin to lay eggs. These eggs are unfertilized so they can only hatch into drones and your colony will ultimately not survive. At this point, when the colony is already worker egg laying, they are unlikely to accept a new queen. Another reason you may not want to requeen your colony is if it's the wrong time of year. The spring and summer are great times to add new queens, but in the late fall and over the winter are not acceptable times to add new queens to colonies. It is dangerous to open a colony if the weather is too cold and the colony is not likely to accept a new queen. Some colonies just won't accept a new queen. If you've attempted to requeen a colony several times and they aren't accepting her, I would suggest combining that colony with a stronger colony in your apiary. Thanks for watching this video. We hope that you learned something. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. With the mother colony, don't forget to remove the queen excluder and put the lid back on.